ketchup against them. Yeah, um, you know, we just didn't get off to a good start. I mean, they got, they jumped out to a 15 point lead. Um, you know, I, I don't think our intensity really amped up to the second half defensively on what we needed to do. Uh, but, but by that time, they had a lot of confidence um, playing with a lead. So, um, just got to give them credit tonight. They, they played a good game. Aaron, you're seeing them roll defenses your way. Yeah. A lot, a lot of eyeballs are on you when you have the ball now, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just part of getting better, part of developing. Uh, you know, something I got to get used to, can't make excuses about. Um, I got to just be careful with my, my shot selection, make sure I'm taking good shots, um, continuing to pass the ball with my teammates when they're open. Uh, I think that'll make the game easier for me, just, you know, taking, taking good available shots when they are there. Were you aware of that run you had going the last five games? I think you had scored at least 20, shot 50 from the field and 50 from three. Only like third player to do it in the last 25 years or something. I wish you would have told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's over now. <laughs> start, start over. You, Larry Bird, and Detlef Shrimp. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. I wish I'd have known. I'd have been careful about some of the shots <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I was unaware of that. I just, uh, uh, just recently, I've just been trying to be as efficient as possible. As possible. Um, you know, just, I guess sometimes the numbers just work out, uh, you know, when you play the game well, but, you know, I'm unaware. Hey, don't take me. We don't know the severity of the next injury. You guys probably don't either, but if he, if he is out for a couple games, you guys have to respond. <laughs> Um, I mean, we've been without Nick once before, and uh, you know, I don't think it went that well. So uh, he's, a, he's a huge contributor for us offensively and rebounding. Um, he had been playing really well, so I'm not sure what he hurt, um, but hopefully it's uh, something he can fight through and get back on the court. If Nick is out, what can you learn from his first absence uh, when he missed those games and you guys were struggling? Uh, just the collective rebounding, still, still the emphasis on getting the ball inside. Um, you know, Nick is a player uh, at this stage um, who we can throw the ball to, and he commands a little bit of attention himself. So uh, we can't just abandon the post uh, when Nick's not in the game. So hopefully we find other ways, whether it's through some guard play or the bigs that we have available to continue to get the ball down low. And, uh, I think defensively rebounding will be fine. He's got a game rebound, but offensively he's probably the biggest key. I think he's been, he's been in the game longer and he could have gone inside more instead of maybe matching them jump shot or jump shot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, they, their bigs had it going a little bit tonight. And, you know, maybe Nick would help with that. Uh, I'm not sure if he went out in the first or second quarter, but uh, I don't remember the game being that close even from the beginning. So. You never know, though. You never know.